Hi, this is Mike Kennedy, M005 Kennedy. I've had a lot of people comment about some of the pictures I've taken about partridge berry and wintergreen. So I thought we'd take a look at them closer, see some of the differences. Uh, they're both produce red edible berries, but I thought we'd look at them a little bit closer and discuss more about what the plants are like. First, I'll say that this is spring now, and this berry's actually been on the vine over the winter. Uh, we're going to cut this berry open, see what's inside of it. It's white, and there appears to be a couple, three uh, kind of yellowish looking seeds. Now, when we eat partridge berry, I've got a few more of them here, right? We're going to try to eat these. And they taste like exactly nothing. They're very bland, they have no taste. But they're edible. Now, let's look at this little vine that they're on. What we see here is we see a little like vine running across the, the ground. You can see it's branched up here. We have opposing leaves. There's one on each side. The leaves have bright green veins in them. If we turn them over, you can see the leaves are kind of dull. I'm also going to explain to you what this is, but I've forgotten the name, but I will put it on the end of the video or in the captions. But So here we have a very distinct vine. These leaves are only about a little more than a half an inch long. Here's another berry. So uh, this is what partridge berry looks like. Opposing leaves. The leaves are small. They have these veins in them. And they're kind of a dull uh, finish. So hopefully that gives you some distinctive information about what partridge berry looks like. Now let's switch over to wintergreen, which is right next to it here. Now here's the wintergreen plant. First I want to say, see how there's this reddish color on these leaves? These leaves have gone through the winter. But now let's look at this. This is distinctly not a vine. It is more of a, a little uh, branch coming up, right? And we look at these leaves and they are not uh, They're not really opposing. You have a leaf, then you have another leaf. So these leaves, leaves are what you would call alternating. There's a leaf on one side, leaf on the other side, leaf on that side, leaf on the other side. The leaves are also much larger. And one thing you notice immediately about the leaves too is they're, the tops are very waxy looking. They look like they have a wax coating. Another thing we can do is take one of these leaves off and we can crush it up really well. And we can smell it. And we'll smell, we'll actually smell that intense wintergreen a smell from crushing these leaves. So that's your best test for wintergreen, is that intense wintergreen smell. And if you don't know what wintergreen tastes like or smells like, go get some wintergreen candy and uh, you'll find out. Uh, the component that's in it is methyl salicylate and also has medicinal purposes and most methyl salicylate now is manufactured synthetically and is used in a lot of uh, anti-pain rubs that you put on your skin for aches and pains. But there we have it. Now, um, wintergreen will also have berries that overwinter. And this particular patch right here, I don't see any, but we're going to look around and try to see some more. But I do want you to distinguish between the idea that uh, you're going to see leaves that are all green, maybe just a little red on them, and then you're going to see leaves uh, this time of year that are quite red. Again, uh, these have overwintered and uh, they've turned red.
Now right here you can see these are the winter green leaves. See how greener these are and how shiny they are? And you can still see they're, they're waxy on the top, they're dull on the bottom. The leaves are alternating, not opposing. The leaves are one and a half, maybe two inches long or smaller. And the whole plant, if it's totally erect, would stand like two or three inches, but it tends to kind of lay over. Here's a large group of wintergreen and partridge berries. Uh, there's a lot of partridge berries on the ground, but again, the winter berries, wintergreen berries. Oh, is this one here? Aha! Let's go in. Okay, here we have a wintergreen plant here. You can see there's uh, like five leaves on it. And look at that, there's a little berry attached to it. Now, let's break open this berry and take a look, see if, how much different it looks. And what I immediately notice different about wintergreen berries is, and I'll get closer in for this, Okay, what I notice immediately about wintergreen berries is they have small, dark colored seeds. What you're going to notice as you eat these, they have that nice wintergreen flavor. Just like the leaves smell. Now, the reason why you want to be so careful about this whole subject is Red berries, on the whole, are poisonous. So if you were just to go out in the woods and pick random red berries, you would probably come back very ill or not come back at all. So that's why it's important to know these two red berries and know that these are edible. Because as a whole, again, red berries aren't. And of course you'll say, what about raspberries? What about strawberries? Well, there are some. Multi-segmented berries, like a raspberry that are red are safe to eat. And of course we know what strawberries are like too. But as a whole, red berries are not safe to eat. But wintergreen and partridge berry are. And the wintergreen berries and the leaves are quite tasty. You could just take the leaves too and chew them. and get that nice taste out of them. Uh, people take the leaves and make them into tea. And there's medicinal uses too, but you want to look in books for that. I would not want to give that much advice on that. But there we go. The difference between wintergreen, partridge berry, and the fact that most single red berries that you find in the wild are poisonous, but these two aren't. Happy berry picking.